I, I don't think it tell time to do a sound check. One, two, one, two. Ah, oh, that's it. We're working. We're punching. We're punching tens. It's good. Oh, I've got, I got some stuff happening today. I'm pushing the envelope like you wouldn't believe. Going to, um, uh, oh, by the way, I'm Steve Hay. <laughs> this is Woodworking Masterclass. Welcome to the workshop, everyone. And if you're new here for the first time, what it is, I'm just doing my work and I've just turned the cameras on so you can watch me work. So if you think I'm a bit scatterbrained, I am. There's nothing I can do about that. It was the way I was born. So please enjoy it anyway. We're going to go starting off in this workshop. Then we're going to go up to the wood turning workshop. Then we're going to go outside and I'm going to do some spraying. Then we're going to go back in the wood turning workshop and make a rolling pin. Then we're going to come back down here and hopefully everything will work. Cool. Oh, dear. I, I just don't know how it's all going to go, but we, we've just got to give it a go, I think. We'll, we'll see what happens. Oh, what fun and exciting. Good day, Ray. Hey, mate, I just realised something yesterday. <laughs> Do you know, I, we, 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 you and I, we both missed the deadline on the music stand because it was meant to be Easter and then all this business started and we didn't. So I, I'm going to get back into that when all this silly business is finished. What's that over there? Hang on. <laughs> I just got to look at something on the back of this music stand. Oh, no, it's a bit of, that's all right. It'll come off. It's a bit of epoxy. A bit of epoxy. We'll finish that off later. Oh. So there you go. Oh, what have we got? Prunella. Hey, darling, can you send me a thing? Because, yeah, look, I'd love to take you off on your kind off with the PG Woodhouse stuff. Uh, give me a contact or we can link up or whatever would be good. G'day, Panda. Ah, oh, did you put a bomb? Cape Six, good evening. Devon, good evening. Andy, good evening. Ah. Oh. Trevor, good day, mate. Hey, Daniel. Oh, dear. Angry, good day. How are you, mate? Haven't seen you for ages. Hope you're going well, Darren. And, and I've had a couple of looks on your, uh, your build, uh, not recently, but gee whiz, it's coming ahead. Your house, that's, that is awesome. Ah, oh, dear. Yes, Brunella, I hope you can stay for the whole thing because who knows what's going to happen. Oh, excuse me. Uh, hi, Ian. How are you? Welcome to the workshop. I'm out of out of the crash and nearly out of the tenth adult period. That's good. That's good. Good morning, Stephen. It's nice weather today, and it got up. Thought it was a bit brisk. Didn't think I'd be able to get any spray painting done, but it's warmed up significantly. Uh, Davy, good day, mate. Terry, good day. I sent you a picture of that magazine rack I mentioned yesterday. When did you send it? I checked my emails at six, uh, seven o'clock this morning. Don't recall it. But hey, on that, Terry, so please, if you didn't, um, send it again. Thank you for everyone that I had from my mailbox this morning. And there was just a stack of projects that you wonderful people have been building. Absolutely extraordinary work. And thank you so much for sharing it with me. I reckon it's absolutely great. There was some... Um, Marvellous, marvellous bits came through. Benches and tables and cabinets and someone sent in a chair. Um, what else was there? Uh, picture frames, all sorts of things. So, yeah, wonderful. Keep it going. G'day, Craig. Uh, he'll read the chair. <laughs> Uh, no, Devin, what happened was I was going to come on when I was meant to come on earlier and then I've got a mate staying with me at the moment. Oh, shush, no, I've got a family member that's just dropped over. And uh, I haven't had breakfast yet and it was one minute past ten. So I had to boost it a little bit so I could go and get some brekkie, which I'll have shortly. Uh, no, he hasn't had me break. There it is. Look, what's, what's, all the cameras are all over the place. What's happened? Oh. Now, I did leave Bob up in the house and he's um, 
cuddled up on his bed. It, it's looking better, but I think it's, it's knocked him around a bit because he does a lot of sleeping at the moment. But anyway, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah, long countdown. That's because I had to go and get my breakfast. G'day, John. G'day, Vaughn. Hey, that rhymes, doesn't it? John the Vaughn. Oh, good morning, Brenda. Oh, good evening, Brenda. Uh, 4.55. Is that in the afternoon, John? Hey, Wolfie. How you going, mate? Hope you are all well. I'm doing well, thanks, John. Oh, thanks, Devin. Tom, hello, and a good day to everyone. Well, g'day to you too, Tom. Poor man. Eric, how are you, mate? Good to have you in the shed. Uh, Oh, you got a new lathe and a scroll saw as well as a new base for my bands. Oh, yes. So when are we going to see your stream? <laughs> That's it, Eric. You've, you've put your hand up, mate. Paul, good morning. James, g'day, mate. I've missed you over the last couple of days. Maker D, good morning. Reginald, g'day. Chad, g'day. I've missed you over the last couple of days too. Andrew, oh, look at that. You've actually got, you've got your own thing now. Is Louise with you or are you just, you're just doing it by yourself? Oh, I was very tempted. I'm going to do some wood turning today. Oh, mate, I was tempted to grab one of those posts and turn it, but I, I think I'll hit it with a gurney first. Saves me tools a bit. Oh, dear. Oh, that's good. Nice to have you back too, Chad. Mm. Mitch, good day. <coughs> Hi, everyone. Sorry, I haven't been around. Yes, you've been missed as well. Oh, God bless them. And you're a good son for doing it. I've got the square footage of a bathtub to work for. Well, mate, you still got from the floor to the ceiling. Oh, all right, I'm going to get a bit of brekkie in me. What I'm going to do, all the other spindles, I rub them back. I'll show you, I cheated. I rubbed them back and, and um, sprayed them again, uh, painted them yesterday, and they're looking really good. I want to sand these shelves back, which I've put brush coats on, and then we'll zoom up, and I'll quickly do a mic change over. We'll shut this stream down. I'll start another stream up. So it should continue. <coughs> um, we'll go up outside the wood turning shed. Got a spray gun out. It was all clogged and bogged and everything, so I've cleaned that up. So we'll spray these. And then when they're drying, we will turn a rolling pin. And I meant to get a big lump of black bean out of the car. So I, I might get someone to get that out of the car for me. And if we've got enough time, I might turn a bowl because I want to put a bowl so I can put all my coffee pods in. And the coffee machine's in the wood turning shed. So we'll have a coffee together too. That's exciting. I've got some Anzac biscuits. Um, I'm sure I can talk Susie into bring some Tim Tams down. Oh, yeah, good on you, Trevor. I'm, I'm trying to say that I'm doing all right. I'm living the life. And no... Pikelet's cream, strawberry jam to eat. Oh, good on you. Eat your heart out. Gee. Randy, good day, mate. <laughs> no, no, they don't. Randy sent me this spectacular table that he made. And it's got a fantastic top on it, um, which is epoxy resin and something. I, I couldn't quite see all the top, but I saw what it was um, suggesting. And it was gorgeous, Cam camouflaged underneath. It was for your, um, was it for your son or grandson, I can't remember. Um, and, yeah, epoxy on the top. But the four turned legs look close enough to identical to me. And, yeah, no, I was, when I was sanding back mine last night, I was going, oh, that's a bit fun. Oh, I like that one. How to do that? Oh, that doesn't match any of them, but who cares? It's going to do a job. That's all we've got to do. Uh, Trevor, you are spoiled. Absolutely. James, I am with grandson. That's it. Thanks, Randy. I, I agree totally, James. Uh, 
Eric, uh, do you mean actually out of a coconut or from the tree it grows on? Because I've worked with the tree and the palm sucks. Yeah, it's very fibrous, isn't it? <laughs> Back, black palms, poor man's wings, I reckon. <whistles> All right, let me get some of this down my neck and then um, I'm going to rub this, but no, I'm not going to rub. I'm using the orbital sand at 240. Got these shells to do behind me. Then what we'll do is take them. Actually, what I'll do, I'll get someone to come and grab them when I've finished them and they can take them up. And I've got these things, which I, I think you've seen me use them before. Look, you've got to, got to tell you, wood, wood water-based um, paints. Look at that. That was what I painted it with and... Just washed it out under the tap. A little bit of detergent. Look at that. Just as good as new. Gotta love water-based stuff. Where'd I put me pins? I, I stacked them all up last night. And I thought, oh, that looks really good because they're neat. And I've gone and stuck them somewhere. Where has, if I'd left them all over the place, there'd be a fair chance I could find one. What did I, I do with them? Oh, for goodness sake, you just amaze me, you do sometimes, Stephen. You are just... So where did I put them? I counted them because I've got 20. And I thought, that's good. I'll stack them all up. It's not under there because I've got... I'm going to... I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to do a tidy upstream very, very, very soon because I just can't find anything. Um... Where did I put the blinking things? Stir up, buddy, do, buddy, do, do, boom, boom. <laughs> hey, I'll just go and get someone down here to grab this. Hey, John, oh. Oh, there they are. Look at that. I've already done it. Oh. John! <coughs> oh, in fact, yeah, uh, just come out and spray them. We'll do the, the bottoms first. Bottoms, bottoms first. Well, it's going to be a problem with the middle shelf because the holes go all the way through. <laughs> yeah, you'll be able to work it out. All right, okay, I've got that sorted. What are we doing? Muddy dump on. There is a very good and safe place. They are, hey, they are Prunella, I found them. I, I, was, I, was, I was ahead of myself. I was a trendsetter. I actually put them where they're meant to be. Hey, Mike, um, did you get those uh, answers that I sent you on Facebook? I don't know what was going on this morning. I, I messaged you twice, I know with, uh, oh, here comes Muck Guts. No, he's, no, <laughs> he came and he's gone. Um, the one with your dog, uh, guarding the plywood, because I, I sent back, yeah, it's all good fun to start with, but then they hit this hard stuff like cherry and maple and walnut, and before you know it, and then I had a picture of Bob with a great big stick, but I didn't know if you actually, oh, you did. Oh, good, good. Good, I didn't know what was going on with that. Let me get this down my neck. Hang on. Do you want to come in and tell me a life story for a bit? You don't. <laughs> no, go away. Mm. I could eat and, and sand at the same time, I suppose. Oh, it's waterproof. It's food safe. Mm. Mm. Did you get up, Bob? Did you decide... Oh. Wait a minute. Don't you go all coy on me either. Here you go. All right. Are you happy? Well, that's confusing. Are you happy? And he goes, but his tail wags. I'm just knocking this down my neck, all right? Then you can have some. Well, we'll go split screen. Look at that. that that's the dog having a fantasy.
Those eyes are so intense on me. Yeah, we're right in a minute. His back's healing up nicely, though. Yes, Bob, just settle. All right. <laughs> I reckon you could outstare an alligator. You really could. You're lucky I'm running late. Mm. There you go. All right. Mm. Oh, the when we're up doing the woodwork, the wood turn, we'll have a coffee too. Now, where's that lump of, I'm looking for a lump of coach wood. Has um, Blue Wren come in yet? I want to know what colour rolling pin she wants. Yeah, actually, if you can bring a stick of that down, I can cut that to length. And um, can you... Hang on. Whoop. You're a good boy, Bob. Oh, all right. Let's get cracking. It's, it's all happened. Look at that. Oh! Who needs a dishwasher when you got a dish liquor? Now, 240 is what I'm going to have on here. And I'm using Merca paper, not this other rubbishy stuff that I hate. I'll put that in the bin. Merca. You idiot. There you go. Merca is just like a clear. Isn't that awesome? And when you look at the bottom of the sand, it's got so many holes in it. You don't have to line anything up. Away you go. Turn it on and we're, we're cooking. Um, have I done the other side? Oh, yes, I have. I haven't done that side. Now down this end, I've got a little bit of tear out, and I'm leaving it. A little bit of tear out in here, and I'm not going to try and fill it, because if I do, it's going to be far more obvious than just to tear out. If, if this was a commission or something or other, I would actually fill that with clear, uh, maybe super glue or something, and bring it up. But seeing it for the kitchen, I'm not going to bother about it. Because you put putty in there, you've got beautiful grain, and then you whack putty in there, and uh, you just get this horrible, horrible colour that you don't want. Uh, so where are we going?
Okie dokie. That one's finished. Oh. That one there. And this is the base. So we'll do base first. Did I? I did the bottom of that one last night, I think. I did. I did. Take that one up, that. Boom, boom, last one. Here we go. <sighs> Let me have a chat. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, he, he's like that, James. He bucks up when there's a bit of tucker around. Uh, T-Bone, hi. Ever had any trouble with blistering small bubbles with a thinned oil mix? Excellency, boil. Yeah, you generally find... Uh, what happens, T-Bone, if it's an open grain type timber and there's actually air coming out through the grain in the timber? That's what I found. I'm not saying that's the situation with you there, but many times it is air pockets that are in the timber. A uh, way you can overcome it is wet the timber and sand it back, get rid of that grain rise, and that'll get rid of any excess air in there. So you could try that. Sawdust in the breakfast is good for you. Puts hair on your chest. Um, have you finished the love hard box? No, they're still there. Um, what I'm doing is concentrating on getting this out. Then oh, I've got to finish putting all those together, which I'm nearly there, nearly there. But the deadline for them got moved once the uh, restrictions came in. So... <laughs> Unfortunately with me, if I can see a loophole, I'll use it. But no, they haven't gone out yet, but they will. But I'll show you all of them when they're finished, or we'll, we'll do some more work on them. I've still got that chair I've got to fix for my neighbour too, so that's okay. Breakfast in Aussie, it is, it is. Uh, where's Max? Max hasn't come in yet. 
Ah, well, I hope, hope. Yeah, lightning, no, you don't want to do that. Hope it doesn't interfere with the stream. I'm with you, Dean. Uh, yeah, no, the dogs do a great job. And if you don't tell anyone, you can put the, the plate straight back in the cupboard and nobody knows. Done it. Proved it. It's true. Bob doesn't care. He'll eat, he'll eat off a plate that I've licked. <laughs> yeah, I've got to love Merca, Trevor. Christian, if you're watching Japanese Tools Australia, top product, mate. I'm just thinking, with, 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 with when I'm doing the spraying, I can't read the chat, but I'll have someone read it. So if there's anything that comes out, I'll get him to tell me. And same when I'm turning, because I'm bad enough turning without looking at the TV screen. thinking I've never sprayed this stuff before so it's going to be a bit of bit of hit and miss but we'll see ah we'll see how we go One. Now, oh, thanks, mate. Um, got to find that bit of. Where's that bit of coach wood that I did have that I was going to make? Think of this, this bit here. Oh, I'll cut that up and we'll make a rolling pin out of that. That's she oak, which doesn't look very nice at the moment, but I can tell you it's going to have cream and red and all sorts of nice things in it. Um, 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 a bit of coach wood. Um, bum, bum, bum. I might have, might have to grab another bit if I can't find it. I don't know. 
It was here. Oh, here it is. I got it. All is not lost. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Marta's not on, is she? Have I got her phone number? I should, I should ring her up. What size rolling pin do you want? Because you can get all different lengths. Ah, is she in? Oh, yeah, I've got no, I haven't got my phone on me or anything. Slack. How slack. There we go. All right, so that's done there. Uh, do a point. Snow on Friday. Crikey. Turn the heat up. Yeah, I know I'm not that stage yet. Randy, but I told you anything about 22 degrees, I'll put a jumper on. Anything below, sorry, below. Oh, beautiful. Milling cherry temper for grandfather's mission clock. Awesome. Uh, what thickness are you going? You're going to go seven eighths? Uh, Eric, uh, made a few discs out of pallet wood today so I could spray glue on sandpaper for easier shaping of my turning chisels. That's a good idea. Oh, I, I read that, Eric, and I said making two more, 600 and 1,000. Crikey, that's serious. No, you meant grit. Okay, understand now, understand. Yes, Trevor, I can imagine it would be. <laughs> yeah, I look, honestly, Dean, in, in so many things, it takes longer in the planning than it does in the doing. And sometimes it takes longer in the getting around to the doing than it does between the planning and the doing. You, you got a dog, Trevor, let him lick your keyboard. That'll solve that. <laughs> hey, have you thought about putting that on your socks, Trevor? That way your socks will stay on your feet. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, Prunella, if I could, I would pay you to be queen of the moderators. I reckon you should get royalties on that. You should talk to some of the royal families around the, the world and say, look, I got called queen and it means much more than what your regency does, so you have to pay me a stipend for using my monoc monocle. Monica. There you go. All right. Ah, uh, where's the pretzel? Here we go. Um, 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 um. Anthony, 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 good day, mate. Good evening. Now, get me, let me get me this right. Are you the Anthony from New York? Because that, that had me thinking. No socks, I know, I know. ba ba da ba da ba da ba da Ah, oh, that get out of that depression, woodworking masterclass. I'm the only one allowed to get confabricated. Uh, hang on, let's go over and I'll just go, oh, I don't know what size, oh, I don't know what size to do, a rolling pin. You can have a 300 rolling pin or a 250 rolling pin. Oh, I'm going to do a 250 rolling pin. There you go. 250. <laughs> Got to find out how big the handles are on rolling pins. Wait, I'll be there in a minute. We'll go 100, 250, 350, 450. Oh, we might go 500. That sounds like a good length. Okay. I'm just checking, see if, <coughs> see if we've got any cracks, chips. Oh, that is, that's going to look really nice. Don't know what I'm going to get out of it, though. Oh, no, no, that'd be right. So what did I say? 500. All right, we'll go. I love these rulers. Have you seen these rulers before? They're just absolutely the best. 
the best rules. Uh, here you go. And you know, normal ruler, right? You've got to do that. No, not these. These, you press a button here and they... Go on. See that? <laughs> oh, I had too much of a woof into that. That <laughs> shot off the table. So they're an inverted, they're called a round ruler. BMI make them. I don't know if they still do. They come in two metre and three metre lengths. So, and you, you could have, um, so you can have races with them, see so you can get certain lengths. Of, the, the two metre ones are faster, but the three metre ones get more speed up. There you go. Oh, I know. Small things in here, small minds. It's all right. I can handle it. I've got broad shoulders. So we'll knock that off there and we'll go 500 to there, which leaves me 400 there. All right, we'll go 500. I'm going to see if I can get maybe two out of there. There's a 450, so that's going to be 250, 350. Okay, we'll go there. How will that go? 350 for 450. Then we'll go there. All right. I'm going to go over and cut that on the saw. Oh, so you can see me do that. Oh. No, no, that's fine. I'll, I'll just, this one's got nice colour in it. You move faster than Bob when there's a free play to... Oh, you're in! So that's it. <laughs> Interpol saw that. Uh, here we go. Same. Oh, with this bit, I'm thinking. Oh. Okay. Right. Now, I'm going to, we'll try it. We'll see if we can shut this one down and get the other one up and running. So I don't know how I'm going to do it. We'll give it a try. Oh, that's one. I, why could I see you in that job, Prunella? That would suit you down to a T. Michael, good day. Uh, someone put me on to three, the measuring the other day. Have a telemeter. Look it up on you. I will. I'll look it up on YouTube. I shall do that. G'day, Mark. How you going? Thanks for coming in, mate. Yeah, <laughs> good value, eh? Oh, dear, oh, dear. The Raf, I used to have a, an uncle. I think he's passed away now. 
He was a group captain in the RAF. In the Queen's flight, if you don't mind, he was Prince Philip's personal navigator when Prince Philip used to fly his own plane, which was a de Havilland Her Heron. There you go, that's back in the 60s. Oh, dear. Go, oh, Max, I just mentioned, where's Maxwell? We've missed him, but you're there. Good. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop this stream and then I'm going to run up to the other shed and I'm going to start that stream and then once that's established, I'll come back here and get the microphone, okay? So here we go. We'll try it and see what happens. So I'm going to stop this and I'm starting the other one. So hang in. We got sound there. Any sound coming off on that? Video, yes, sound, no. All right. Well. What about that? We got sound on that one. Sound now, okay, good. Sound back. Sorry to hear that, that, that. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. Bingo. All right. Um, now that sound. Let me just try something else on another mic. I want to see if this one's going to work.
We got sound there. That should have your sound. Should be back now. Lead breathing. <laughs> yes, all right. We'll leave it on that one. All right, I'm going outside to do some spraying. I don't know what the sound's going to be like out there. But we'll go out and we'll spray some of these um, tops or bottoms. So I'm going out to spray paint this, which is, there you go. Oh. Um, is that the top or the middle, yeah. middle one? No, that's good. First of all, we'll go and spray those. Yeah, I'm a long way away because the microphone is a different microphone. But for whatever reason, this one's not doing what it's meant to be doing. So, hope Bobby's not damn weird. Yeah, he'd be right, I'll put a mask on you. Um, well, that's what I was looking for, actually. I was looking for a mask. I did have one. So, no, she'd be right. Um, 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 um. I did. I had a new mask around here somewhere. I don't know where it's gone. I wonder if I plug this in and make any difference. So, can't find the mask, but it's all right. I don't know where the flipping thing is. The brand new one I bought the other day. So, should be right. Okay. Um, no, it was a brand new one. Oh, wrapped up in plastic. Everything. Turn up when it's ready. No, 
I'm saying he was one of the, the growing spray painters masks. So I don't know. I'm going to try the sound again. Let me know if I've got any sound because I've just changed some things. So. I'll stick with this one. I don't know what's happening with that. That's not working. But anyway, um, where's my spray gun? Oh, I've got to go. I've got to go down and get the paint. Wait a minute. See how this goes. That should be enough. Oh. All right, I'm going outside. Um, what is that one there? There you go.
believe that man. The tack off for a bit. And then I'll flip them over, but we'll set up the lathe for the rolling pin. Oh! And see how far we get with that. Ow! This is going to be hard as this stuff. No guarantees on the result of this one either. We'll just give it a go. Okay. Well. Yeah, those painters pyramids, I actually had to get those from the States. No one had heard of them in Australia. All right, let's just spin this around. And we'll see what's happening. Yeah. La -da -boom. Just a um, bum bum bum. Oh, for goodness sake. It's going to be one of those days, I can tell. I'm gonna have to dock a bit off of that because it doesn't it doesn't oh hang on oh, I'll put a different tail stock in might might do a bit better with that there you go that makes a difference doesn't it different tail stock There you go. You don't need that one. Now we'll go. Oh, we'll just stick with this one for a while. Till I get it. I'm just going to change the speed on the lathe. Yeah, 
There we go. A little bit of tension. Alright, there we go. Oh, Max, we're on the lathe. <laughs> I forgot. Let me just move this around. I'll move this one up here. So we can go oh, that one there. There you go. Alright. Okay, let me just go outside and check to see if these are dry. If they are, I can flip them over. Only for a little while, Max. I'm back now. Yeah, you heard Sue. She came down. She's not doing so and tell because um, she's teaching Anthony. Anthony's making a quilt. So she's up there teaching him so she says she'll be back tomorrow all right let's go max hang on we're we're ready
Oh, Kyle, shut that door. I'm going to have to try. There you go.
we go in the skew? Very bushy sort of thing, isn't it? A little bit more, maybe. I'll just touch it up on the top, it can get a bit warm. That one cool down for a little bit of it. I'm going to do that dance again. <laughs> oh, I've got to roll down the front of me t shirt. It's horrible. Now, let me just see if I can get rid of this. Oh, disgusting stuff. Prickly and itchy. Oh. So you're counting because I move the tourists. Here's a clue. If you're moving the fence while you're turning, just don't hit your job. That's, that's the best way. All right, I'm just going to put a backwards collar on. Oh. Oh. There's a little um, wood turning jacket I made, and it's just so... Easy, all it is is just uh, a collar around there. So, when this goes on, I don't get 
Oh, it mucked down there my neck again. Which is good. Oh, that, oh, I feel much more comfortable now. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't. No, that, that, that visual did me, Louise. <laughs> did me for weeks. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, all right, let's get back into it. Oh, and I'm, I'm thinking actually this. Oh, I'm just I'm an arm with her and I should clean these filters. Yeah, getting a bit. There you go. So, they're good because they stop all the dust from getting in your lungs and you clean them just by blowing them out. <laughs> all right, let's go. We're back into it. I really don't know. Mm -hmm. You know how this one's going to go because it's tough timber. If not, we'll quickly throw um, a coach with one together. There we go. It's telling me something. I don't know why it's beeping, but it is. All right, let's go again. I think. I will try to get it up.
All right. Put the next one down. We'll see. Yeah. Well, I don't know. That, that's a rustic one, that is. And so that's a hundred, this is one fifty. I'm out. Well, two twenty. Two forty. I think that might have too many blemishes in it. But I'll, I'll put a bit of oil on it. So you can see. No, I'll put a bit of wax on it. So I'll take that off later on. All right, that I think is going to be too hard for a rolling pin, but I'll put some wax on it just so you can see the color of the timber, which is beautiful.
the helmet's going off his hand with the dipping, so I don't know what's wrong with that. Um, yeah, I'll see if I can give you a look at that timber. So that's it with a bit of wax on it. But I think it's got too many inclusions and cracks in there to make an effective rolling pin. So I'll do one out of coach wood, but we'll have to do that next time. I don't know what's wrong with my helmet. It's just going crazy. <laughs> now let me just take this off because I'm starting to expire. Oh, there we go. That's better. Oh, all right. Now I'm going to take that other top out and I'll just spray that. Oh, how you going, Max? Is your heart rate all right? It wasn't too stressful for you? Tell you what, that stuff's hard. It smells nice. It's got a really sweet smell to it. And I've lost my microphone, wherever that is. Oh, I'll be there somewhere. Here, not here. Oh, it's still there. It's hidden. It's there. All right. Okay, so go back outside. I'll spray those things. They should be done. We'll take this one out. Enough. Just, I might just clean the needle out of that. It's 
Good and bad with water based stuff. Good thing is it's easy to do a clean up. Bad thing is with um, with nitro based or thinners based stuff, I'm just cleaning this tip out. You can just run thinner through it and it solves your problem. Whereas the water base is a little bit dicier. Bit more involved. That's pretty pretty much there. I'll just go over the tap. Hello, Bob. On the last bit too. Suppose the smart thing would be to get the compressor and use that, eh? Oh, here we go. And you love leaves. What they can get caught on, they will get caught on. do this last side and then I think we'll shoot down the shed and we'll see if we can finish up where we started from so I can't do another um, what do you call it <laughs> uh, rolling pin because my mask I've got to do some work on my mask I don't know if it's the battery's flat or um, filters are full. So we'll change <coughs> that out to there.
Oh, all right. So now what I'm going to try and do is see if we can go down and finish off down in the other shed and then I can have a chat and we'll catch up. So I'm going to shut this one off and race down the other shed. I'll just take this off first because it will give me a bit of extra time. All right, so that's on. Oh, I know. Well, perhaps. Oh, I think I know what I did wrong. Anyway, I'll see you down the other shed. So I'm stopping this one and then I'll start the. Okay, one, two, one, two. How did that work? Have we got sound? Have we got sound now? Do we have sound? Anybody? Oh, well, there you go. Yes. Okay, I worked out what I did wrong. I didn't turn the microphone off and return it on when I put it on the other camera and therefore it most likely didn't sync. But that's it, we're all good. I tell you what, you want stress factor. I don't know what the sound was like when I did the turning. But that wood came up nice, but yeah, it just wouldn't work for a, um, a, a, a rolling pin because it just... Uh, um, had too many imperfections in it, and if you're rolling out pastry, I guess you want it fairly, fairly flat. Okay, so well, this is what I oiled yesterday. So I'm just going to scuff this back with a bit of 240, and we'll oil it again. Oh no, I just realised. Oh no, I didn't. No, it's all right. Don't panic. And my job. That's my job to panic. No one else's. Oh, that's nice. So what I'm going to do with the uh, blender bench when I've stopped streaming. I'm going to have a coffee. And then I'm going to actually put it together and assemble it in the house and I'll film it. And then tomorrow you can see what I did, where it goes and what it does. And I will then think that it's oh, a success. Pretty happy with it. I like spraying. You get a nice even coat. Even though I brush coated the first two layers on, that was because I was down here. But to spray it is just so much easier and you get a much more even finish on it and it will be in use oh that'll be in use tomorrow if I do it today it's still going to need to the glue to dry and again I didn't have much interaction with anyone today but it appears that you all did very well <laughs> It's fun to know that you can do these things, but there's little things that you have to obviously be mindful of. And, well, I don't know if that actually did do it, turning the mic off, but it just occurred to me when I took it off and it might have to register with the camera. I don't know. It could be something in OBS. 
you never, never know. So, scooting along with this, when I've done this, I'm going to have a chat. If anyone's asked me any questions, and I've ignored them, please answer them again, and you can have my undivided attention. And believe me, that coffee's going to taste good. Okay, second last one coming up. It's really nice, that finishing oil. And that's what it's called, finishing oil. Seed oil. Boom, boom, boom. You can't say we don't have a go and push limits, can you? Oh! One, two, boom. Okay, here we go. Whoop. I think I've fitted more in this stream than I've done in any of them, actually. I was I was quite happy with that. Whoop. We'll go up and we'll do another one at some stage. And then I'll do a, a coachwood chopping board, I think. I had it there. I would have had a go at it, but the um, I don't know if you could hear the beeping. My mask was beeping overtime like there's no tomorrow. And those of you that missed it, we didn't have Susie's segment today because she's, she's teaching, because Anthony's making a quilt. And the way the microphones were going, I think it might be just as well. But she'll be here tomorrow. Wild horses couldn't take her away. Nice sheen, isn't it? 
Beautiful. Oh, dear. All right, where are these ones? Ah. Ah. Where are we up to? Who have we got? Ah, hyperspace, that's it. We're going into hyperspace. Oh, now what, what did I do the other day? I put it in the container, didn't I? I think I'll do that again. That's a much better idea. Oh, and there's me thinking you were quoting Stargate. Or well, perhaps they pinched it from Hitchhiker's Galaxy. <whistles> I'm the washing expert, just us. <laughs> He does. I have photographic evidence. Well, I don't know, Trevor. You might be you might be the expert at hanging it out. Sounds good, doesn't it? Um, because I haven't actually seen you near a washing machine. I have seen you pegging it on the line. So anyone that's come in and left, I'm sorry. And if anyone's gone to bed, God bless, have a good night's sleep. And if anyone's new, thanks for joining us. Um, mayhem today. I, I really thought I would push myself and see if I can do a few things differently. So I don't know how it went, but I'll tell you what, I got some jobs done. So wife is happy. She'll have a blender bench tonight. So I said I'll um, film the actual putting together. And, and even the maiden voyage. I haven't quite worked out where I'm putting the power points because I want it to be live. But I'll work that out. I guess while I'm putting it up. Ah. Your Danish oil is good too. I don't mind Danish oil. In fact, we did a, um, a test. I've got the thing around here somewhere of all the different oils I've got. And there was about six or seven of them. And really couldn't tell too much difference between one or the other. But yeah, Danish oil is nice, especially if you build it up and... Um, Rub it in with 4 steel wool. I've done a few jobs and the finish has just been Danish oil. It's nice stuff. Why not, Brian? Why are you, we're wearing your clothes in the shower. There's nothing better than wearing your clothes in the shower and having the dirty dishes on the bottom. And you just get everything done at once. You put the soap powder in your shirt pocket and you just jump up and down. Dishes get washed, clothes get washed, you get washed. And if I didn't get travel sickness, I think I'd climb in the clothes dryer and get dried at the same time. Trevor, they don't treat you unkindly. It's just they don't. They might treat you appropriately, 
but unfortunately it doesn't meet your expectations. Have you, have you thought of it that way? Last one. That can go in there. Right back in there. Where's my hand clean? Look at that, got hand cleaner standing by. Oh, I hate having sticky hands. Just the pits. is better. Okay. What the cabinet you are making is looking amazing. Thank you, boy. <laughs> Max. Uh, no, the, um, the cabinet actually is white oak or American oak, depending where you buy it, and it's stained a Libron dark oak with a Libron uh, finishing oil on it. There you go. Uh, yeah, she oak was on the lathe. That's it. I love fig trees. Very soft, very soft timber, but it's pretty. I've got some, some in the shed, I think, a bit of Morton Bay fig. So that's it. Oh, well, I don't know if you enjoyed that or not, but I did. So <laughs> but tomorrow, tomorrow, we're going to be in the shed. I, I promise you, we're going to stay in this shed. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Um... I can't think of anything else. What did we do? I don't know if you learned anything today. I did. Don't take on too much. But anyway, it's good to got, got the spray gun working again. It's nice to have that compressor. So I've got to pull this compressor out of here and pull the head off it and see if it's a uh, piston problem. I think the motor's okay. I think it's just the piston problems have caused a bit of drama. But we can work that out. Um... Oh, yeah, we went outside. There you go. We did too. And you saw Bob and got the spraying done. Did some turning. So I hope you, you, you're going back to normal now, Max. Um, I really thought that was going to be a bit softer. I'm starting to question if it is actually casuarina. I think it might be. Could, it could be hairy oak, uh, but it seems just harder than normal casuarina because I've got some of that out the back and it turns a lot better. But that stuff was as brittle as... But it was good, and I didn't have a slip on the skew, which was good. Go on, who was, keeping, who was keeping score? How many times did I do something? And whatever I did, did I hit anything? Did anything disastrous happen? No, because if you don't want to hit the job with your tool rest when you move it, don't hit the job. Easy as that. Oh, dear. 
poor old Theo, he'd be going, no! But, no, nah, Theo enjoys it, that's his bag. I've got to catch up with him later on. Are you watching, Theo? Give us a ring. I haven't spoken to you for weeks. Oh, oh that's it. All right, well, I'm winding up. Every, everyone. <laughs> no, it'll be bolts. Undo the bolts and rip it off. We'll see what's happening. So anyway, this is Steve pulling the shed door down and saying, thanks, everyone, for indulging me on that trip to see if I could do it. And I can, but I've just got to work on a few extra tweaks. And uh, we will turn a, another rolling pin for Blue when she's on. Apart from that, everything's good. My voice is going. So this is Steve pulling the shed door down saying, thanks to the mods, thanks for everyone in the chat room, thanks for everyone that's watching, that's watched the past ones, watching this one, but haven't got involved. Please hit the subscribe button and the like button and I'll be here again the same time tomorrow only in this shed. Don't know what we're doing. We'll work that out when we get here. Um, so remember to keep it sharp, but more importantly, keep it safe, look after yourself, be kind to each other, follow the rules, we'll get through it, okay? And it's a great opportunity to control your temper and think twice before you say anything. So stay healthy, stay well, stay busy, stay sane. God bless, and I will catch you tomorrow. Thank you, hard energy out to everybody. Bye for now. Going up the page. Now that's it. I'm out of here. Bye.